Hi, Jackie Van Ruler here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use facial re reflexology, sorry, I can't even speak today, to relieve emotional stress. If you're not already signed up for my email list, make sure you sign up so you get these face maps delivered right to your inbox. You'll get one a week along with the video, and you can follow along. These are designed so you can download the face maps and do the, um, do the different protocols on your own. You can put them on your phone or your device or print them out whatever works for you. So as we're getting into the holidays, and as we're going through times of recession and inflation and things like that, emotional stress is definitely higher. I know you can feel it, I certainly can. And so I wanna show you some quick ways that you can turn that stress into better feeling, um, better feeling um, chemicals within your body. So when we're stressed, our body secretes cortisol, and cortisol takes a huge hit on your body. It makes you think not very clearly, so it makes you unfocused and unmotivated, and it makes it harder to make decisions because you can't think clearly. You might be ruminating on your thoughts, stuck in worry and fear and anxiety. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But instead of falling to those things, we can actually relieve that stress by working um, specifically on our forehead. So the forehead represents every organ of your body, but it also represents your brain and nervous system. And it's your brain that triggers that release of cortisol from your adrenal glands. And then it's also where all of the chemicals are either produced or where they end up. So for instance, serotonin is actually made within your gut, but it travels up the vagus nerve into your brain to produce feelings of calmness and content contentedness and happiness. So we're going to start right in this area. And the reason I like to start right in the center and the upper part is because this causes energy to rise. And so this is an area that I want to work first instead of last. So this area also has to do with the lower digestive tract and the bladder. And the bladder holds stuck emotions in your body. So as we're working the bladder, we're also um, helping to improve the release of those emotions. Notice that when you're in a state of stress, that you probably have to go to the bathroom a lot. That's because that triggers the... Um, when you're in a state of stress, it triggers your bladder to release urine because you don't want to be running or fighting in a state when your bladder is full. Next, we're going to move over to the kidneys, which is going to be right above the corners of your mouth and all the way close to the hairline. The kidneys hold the emotion of fear, and fear makes you feel stuck and stagnant. And the kidneys also nourish the brain, so fear actually makes your brain not work very well. So if fear makes you stupid, you can't think clearly, you make poor decisions that you're going to regret later. And so you really want that brain to be working well and you want to give up that emotion of fear. Notice that when you feel more fearful, things just don't work out in your lives and you feel less motivated and focused and energetic. Okay, then we're just going to work coming into the corners here. The whole forehead has to do with the lungs and the lungs hold the emotions of sadness and grief. So as you're working this whole area, you're working the, the lungs and you're releasing feelings of sadness and grief so that you can feel more happy and vibrant. Some of these neurochemicals that we want to release within our body are going to be things like serotonin and melatonin and growth hormone and DHEA, and all these things that actually make you feel healthier, happier, and release things like anxiety and depression. When I first started doing facial reflexology, um, I was in a class and I got a treatment. And after I was done, I was like, what is this feeling? I didn't even realize that I had such a high degree of underlying anxiety that I didn't know what it felt like to feel calm and content and I was just like what is this feeling I don't understand it because I was always feeling anxious and kind of stressed out and so this is what I love about facial reflexology is that feeling that you get after doing it next we're going to work this whole kind of center area of the forehead and this has to do with the digestive tract it has to do with um, your intestines but also your um, pancreas and then coming down into the heart so this whole area has to do with how you digest life and anxiety. So if you have, if you notice that you have bogginess or bumpiness 
or things like that right here in the center of the forehead, that can have to do with anxiety. So just work in there, and if you're feeling any areas that feel more lumpy or bumpy or tender, make sure that you spend an extra five to 10 seconds there, like I'm feeling an area right here. And I'm just going to work it a little more specifically. And as I get down into this area, right in here is a point for the shoulders. The shoulders are about the stress that you feel like you have to carry in your life. A lot of times we feel like we have to take on certain things or that we're in it alone, we don't have any help. And that can sit on our shoulders and cause shoulder and neck tension. Super common in people who are stressed out. And you can actually relieve that stress. And as you do that, you might feel like, oh, I can actually ask for help with some things or maybe some of these things that I thought were all my responsibility, I can actually just let go of. Make sure to take a deep breath as you're doing this. So we come into this area right here. This is the third eye. This has to do with your um, pineal gland. It has to do with feeling guided and intuitive. And also it has to do with your connection with God or your higher power. When we work this spot, this releases melatonin. And melatonin is depleted in most people because we spend a lot of time in artificial light. We spend a lot of time on the computers, on our phones, things like that. And those types of light actually deplete melatonin in our body. Melatonin is not only important for your sleep wake cycles and your energy, is really, really um, important as a powerful antioxidant. So it helps to relieve or remove toxins from your body. So make sure you work this point. If this point is feeling lumpy or bumpy, this might be an area you wanna come back to and work a couple times a day. I also highly recommend turning off all of your devices at least two hours prior to bed. That'll help your body produce natural melatonin. Now, many people take supplemental melatonin. I really highly recommend against that. And the reason why is because that melatonin is a synthetic version of what your body makes and it doesn't work nearly as well. And if you start taking it, your body says, oh, cool, you have plenty of this. I don't need to make it anymore. And so you won't actually make your natural melatonin. Other ways to improve melatonin are by lighting a candle at night. Candles have infrared light. And so as you're watching a candle burn, that can really help to increase melatonin production, as well as watching sunrises, sunsets, and getting out into the sun a little bit each day. We're gonna come right between the eyes and this is a point for the heart. The heart is about relieving anxiety, feeling more love and connection in your life. And as we come down just a little bit further from that, we hit a point for the diaphragm and the vagus nerve. As you're working this point, you might feel that you have the desire to take a deep breath. And that's really important to help to relieve stress as well. Breathing is a, is a great stress reliever. And this point also relaxes the vagus nerve and allows those neurochemicals that are made in your gut to travel up to your brain so that you're feeling healthier and happier. What happens when you're in stress is you get this overload of energy into your brain, which is great for a little bit because it helps you think better and more clearly. But if you continue getting this, um, this barrage of energy up to your brain, it makes your brain like not, it's kind of chaotic. It doesn't think very easily. You get overwhelmed with thoughts, you can't shut your brain off, you get insomnia, um, headaches, anxiety, and then eventually that turns into depression and things like that. So we don't want that happening to you. Next area we're gonna work is this area over the right brow, and this has to do with the liver and the gallbladder. The liver and the gallbladder um, store feelings of anger and resentment. So in general, what you want is to release your anger by setting boundaries, by speaking up when things um, don't go your way. But if you tend to store anger in your body, you might be somebody who's like, oh, I never feel anger, I never feel angry. That's actually not a good thing because that means you're just storing it in your body instead of actually releasing it. You might be somebody who's a people pleaser and that emotion there is actually more associated with things like cancers and thyroid issues and things like that. The liver and gallbladder have to do with like making your dreams come true. So having the energy, the motivation, the willpower, 
and all of those things. The liver, along with the kidneys, help to release the chemical dopamine. And dopamine is really important for focus, motivation, but also the pleasure centers. In fact, if you're low in dopamine, you might turn to things like alcohol or drugs or even um, food, gambling, shopping, or things like that to get a little dopamine hit. However, that dopamine is not long lasting or sustained. And so then you'll have to, to get into those habits again to get that next hit of dopamine. So ideally we would just wanna have a healthy working liver and kidneys, and then you'll just have that nice motivation, um, focus and determination naturally. Okay, then we're gonna move over to the left brow. And this area has to do with the um, spleen and stomach. The spleen and stomach are about how you digest life. When these are out of balance, you're gonna feel worried. You might find that you are focused on certain thoughts, but you have a really hard time making a decision. So you just have thoughts ruminating around in your brain. You can't shut your brain off. Then you don't get good sleep. You might find yourself gaining weight. So as we're working this area, we're also going to be improving our metabolism, reducing the emotion of worry and anxiety. And incidentally, we have probably the worst mental health in our country that we've ever had. And this is trickling down to our children as well. And there are many ideas as to why that's happening, but this is something you can definitely do on your children. And I highly recommend that you partner up with somebody and do this on them. I'm gonna be offering a new class called the Pure Energy Facial Meditation. And working the entire forehead is one of the 10 steps in that program. And it's really important for just decreasing stress and increasing those chemicals that actually make you feel healthier and happier and more motivated and that allow you to make more money and, and be more successful in your life. We're gonna finish up by working around our ears as always, but I'll be offering this class starting in January. It's going to be, there's gonna be an online version as well as an in-person, couple in-person classes. So I'll be offering more information about that Make sure you sign up for my email list to get on the um, to get on to be in the first in the know for that. So you can sign up or or attend an information class if that's something you're interested in. But I'm really focused on bringing this out to the world because I can see the miracles that have happened in my clients. In fact, just this week, I had three clients that um, experienced pretty incredible transformations from just this 30 minute session. One of them had a huge migraine and was also having some nausea and vomiting. She had never had a migraine before, so it was kind of an odd thing for her. So I said, well, let me come over and just work on you. By the time we were done, 30 minutes later, migraine was gone, nausea and vomiting was gone. She felt fine, worked the next day, and has felt fine ever since. Another client was having some heart palpitations. He was having about seven to eight an hour during the time that I saw him. And so I said, well, let's get you in for a treatment. Got in for a treatment and he's only had about one, um, one less severe episode per day ever since. And he is on a heart monitor and so they, they are monitoring that. But um, definitely a significant decrease in those um, heart palpitations and dizziness episodes that he was having. Another client was just having, um, she had just fallen, she was recovering from surgery, um, clearly on her path to getting better. And then she had a setback where she was having some spasms and some pain in her legs, ended up going back into a wheelchair and wasn't able to do physical therapy. So we did a series of two sessions so far with one more tomorrow. After her first session, her pain was almost completely gone. Only had to take Tylenol once between the two days that we saw her. And, um, and feeling much better. Her daughter was really worried about her becoming depressed and things like that and her definitely her mood and everything improved and she's able to go back to physical therapy now. So this is a really powerful technique. If this is something that you're interested in doing as a career, a side hustle, or just to help out your family and friends, particularly as things are getting a little bit interesting in the medical world these days, then I highly recommend that you at least attend an information session <laughs> and learn about this cool, powerful technique. All right, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to comment below how you felt 
after doing this video and I will see you the next time. Bye.